sigmoidoscopy. Areas examined and treated. Rectum, sigmoid colon. The procedure. Diagnostic. This is an internal examination of the sigmoid portion of the colon. It is performed using an instrument called a colonoscope. The colonoscope has a small camera attached to a flexible tube. It may provide a visual diagnosis. Biopsies may be taken. Therapeutic. Various therapeutic maneuvers can be performed. Benign or precancerous polyps may be removed. Before your procedure. Schedule your procedure. Appointment. Schedule your procedure appointment with Gastrodox by phone at 832-632-4070 or in the office. Location. A procedure location will be suggested based on your insurance and geographic area. Please refer to the locations page on our website. Insurance. Our team will obtain the required insurance prior authorization, if needed. Financial. Gastrodox provider fees will be collected upon scheduling your procedure. Orders. Our team will send your procedure orders to the surgery center. Transportation. Do not plan to drive after your procedure. You must have someone 18 years old or above to drive you home. No Uber, Lyft, cab. Changes. To cancel or reschedule, call or text Gastrodox at 832-632-4070. Register with the surgery center. General. A representative from the hospital or surgery center will call you to discuss the registration process, time and location of your procedure. Clinical. The pre-assessment testing team will discuss the following. Clearance if necessary. Medical history. Medications. Pre-anesthesia questionnaire. Surgical history. Financial. Hospital, anesthesia, and pathology fees are independent from Gastrodox. The other fees not related to Gastrodox are to be discussed directly with the other providers, hospital, or surgery center. If you have not heard from the financial representative 24 hours before your procedure, call them at that time. Clearance Cardiac, pulmonary, hematology, neurology you may need a clearance if you have high-risk conditions requiring clearance. You may need a follow-up with your doctor or provider before they can issue a clearance. Our team will send your doctor or provider a clearance request from our office. Once our team has your clearance on file, we will call you to schedule your procedure. You may need a clearance if you are on blood thinners or these medications, Apixaban, Aliquis, Clopidogrel, Plavix, Dabigatron, Pradaxa, Edoxaban, Savisa, Prasugrel, Effient, Rivaroxaban, Xarelto, Ticagreller, Brilinta, Warfarin, Coumadin, and Jantavin. Medications Two weeks before, hold GLP-1 agonist medication, Dulaglutide, Trulicity, Exenatide, Bieta, Exenatide Extended Release, by Durian BCIs, Lyraglutide, Victoza, Lixacenatide, Adlixin, Semaglutide, Ozempic, Wajovi, Rebelsis, Terzepatide, Monjaro. One week before, hold, antidiarrheal medication, Imodium, Chiopectate, Peptobismol, hold, iron tablets, hold, multivitamins. One day before, hold oral diabetes medication. Insulin, take half the dose. Procedure day, blood pressure medication as instructed by the pre-assessment team. Insulin, hold. Others, hold. Other, continue to take your medications unless specified below. Blood thinners will require a clearance on file before scheduling. The pre-assessment team 
PAT, will review your medications and may make other recommendations also. Diet Instructions Two weeks before, foods, no change, liquids, drink plenty of water, one week before, foods, no nuts or seeds berries, cashews, corn nuts, peanuts, pecans, popcorn, walnuts. Low fiber diet, foods, white bread, cheese, eggs, yogurt. Soups, clear vegetable, chicken or beef broth. Vegetables, cooked without skin like mashed potatoes. Fruits, pured fruits without skin like applesauce. Liquids, drink plenty of water. One day before. Foods, clear liquid diet. Soups, clear vegetable, chicken or beef broth. Juices, clear only without pulp. Stop. All food after 12 a.m. Midnight. Liquids. Drink plenty of water. No alcohol. No red or purple colored drinks. Stop. All liquids after 12 a.m. Midnight. Procedure day. No food or liquids on the procedure day. Blood pressure medication. As instructed by the pre-assessment team. Insulin. Hold, others, hold. Bowel preparation instructions. All preparations, clanpeak, colite, gavelite C, G, N, go lightly, magnesium citrate, movie prep. New litly, peg 3350, plenvu, suflav, suprep, sutab. Procedure day. Diet. No food or liquids on the procedure day. Arrival. Please ensure you arrive 1.5 hours before your procedure. You will check in at registration when you arrive. Pre-procedure. The clinical team will go through the clinical assessment as well as risks and benefits of the procedure. The anesthesia team will explain all aspects before the procedure. Consent forms the procedure will need to be signed. Sedation. An intravenous line will be inserted into your arm to administer medication. You will be given intravenous sedation medication during the procedure. Position. You will be instructed to lie on the left side with your knees up to your chest. Visualization. After sedation, the colonoscope is inserted through the anus and gently advanced to visualize the sigmoid portion of the colon. Since better views are obtained during withdrawal than during insertion, a more careful examination is done during withdrawal of the scope. Post-procedure. It will take approximately 30 minutes to one hour to recover from the anesthesia. The clinical team will observe for any symptoms or signs of abdominal pain, vomiting, dizziness, blood pressure issues, heart rate issue, fever, if you are doing well and have woken up from the anesthesia, you will likely be discharged to go home one hour after the procedure. Diagnostic. If any diagnostic tissue samples or biopsies are required, it can be obtained through the endoscope during the procedure. Biopsies may be taken. Therapeutic. If intervention is required, it will be done during the procedure. Polyps may be removed with electrocautery snares, and photographs may be taken. Pathologist. Biopsies are tissue samples that are reviewed by a pathologist under the microscope. The pathologist will determine the nature of the tissue samples. The pathologist will send the reports to our office. Follow-up. Our providers will review the report in detail. The findings will be reviewed with you in detail upon follow-up. After your procedure. Recovery. You will be under observation for 30 minutes to monitor for any symptoms. You will be awake within 30 minutes, but may still be groggy for 12 to 24 hours. Do not plan to drive the remainder of the day after your procedure. Transportation. Do not plan to drive after your procedure. You must have someone 18 years old or above to drive you home. 
no Uber Lyft cab. Symptoms, normal post-procedure symptoms, bloating, gas, slight abdominal pain, some diarrhea, weakness. Abnormal post-procedure symptoms, bleeding, excessive vomiting, fever greater than 100, severe abdominal pain, any other severe or unusual symptoms. Please call 911 and go to the nearest emergency room. Appointment. Ensure that you have a follow-up two to three weeks after the procedure. Results. Your results will be discussed in detail. Treatment recommendations will be given. Questions. Call or text. Gastrodox at 832-632-4070.